Okay, so today uh, I'm going to hit you guys with another video. This one's showing a brand new web app tool that's totally free. It allows you to create 3D space layouts um, for interiors uh, for in real time. So office interiors, your TI projects, uh, and it's totally free and combines 3D modeling with data similar to BIM platforms, um, but with a more streamlined kind of shared and simplified approach. So the link to access uh, the site that I'll be looking at here will be in the video description below as usual. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll show kind of what the end result of the project that I'll do in this video looks like. And remember to like and subscribe if this is useful to you. So this is the site that we're looking at right here. Uh, it's called Archaeologix is the web app. Uh, I'm going to click on this and, you know, I don't want to explain exactly what everything they do myself they can explain it pretty good here i'll play this video for you introducing archaeologix ai a cutting edge platform revolutionizing the way we close listing deals with archaeologix ai you can visualize tenant space requirements and make decisions instantly not days time is of the essence and with archaeologix ai we can expedite the leasing process significantly by actively involving the tenant in the decision-making process, we can ensure we find the perfect space that meets all your requirements. That means a signed lease and a new office for you in no time. Selling your vacancy has never been easier. We find that live test fits in front of the client allow for instant decision-making, shortening the leasing process. Our in-house architects are available to work online with you and your prospect tenants. Need to convert a meeting room into two private offices instead? We can help. We have the ability to add demising walls, doors, and pick out furniture for the space. Thanks to Archaeologix AI, all changes can be made in seconds using the input provided by the final decision maker, the tenant. Maybe the furniture doesn't quite fit. That's no problem. We have a furniture library full of real products from a range of suppliers. So that's. For the most part, that's uh, that's what the software is about. Um, so I'm going to dive in with uh, how this works. So if I go to log in or start free trial, what you'll see is they have kind of a sample project on their home page. So uh, that's something that's that's worth exploring. Oops, I didn't mean to grab that. Uh, so if you zoom in, you can see this is a pretty smooth running 3D interactive uh, platform it actually runs pretty smoothly right click uh, rotate pan zoom all that stuff so in their little sample model here they have these modeled elements that they modeled within the software which you know you've got columns you've got existing walls um, uh, for the existing project and they've thrown furniture and stuff in here and you can click on budget and you can see what the uh, kind of budgeted and unit cost, budget costs and unit costs and all of that um, are for here. So instead of showing this, uh, I'm going to show my own uh, project that I have going on here. This is this is uh, an existing project, the first floor of an existing project where we're just taking over the corner here um, and we're wanting to get an estimate for what it's going to cost, you know, if we want xyz type of furniture and we want to do a real quick cost estimate feasibility ti study that we want to share with our client so um you know if i zoom in here you can you can see we've got a tv you know you have your furniture uh some desks uh, i've got like a break room area with a sink in there some just miscellaneous furniture and i've got a 3d model now in this case i've got a 3D model that I've brought in and linked in. I didn't create this in the Archaeologix uh, software. I've also got a PDF here that you can bring in. So those are the important uh, modeling aspects. But in here we've got, you know, we've got your solid walls, we've got window walls, and we can place doors uh, within that. And this is just running straight up on my web browser. This whole thing. So um, if I if I click on any one of these fixtures here, I can click this icon and kind of check out uh, 
some more information about the uh, furniture. And these are, again, these are actual pieces of furniture, uh, actual furniture companies that uh, um, you can look at their prices live. You can also go in here and change it. So uh, another interesting thing, so you click budget on here. Um, I can I can add soft costs into here. I can add into this system how much architectural engineering and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, can be for this. Um, but if you go under tenant improvement or furniture, fixtures and equipment, it's tallying up all of the elements that you've brought in and it's giving it a unit price. So if you have two, you know, it's going to count all that and it'll, it'll give you a sum total. Um, and then you can go into operational and you can add values to all of this uh, and then ship it right on over to your uh, your client or, you know, the, the tenant rep or whoever it is that you're working with. And I'll show you kind of a quick overview of how to get this going. So this is going to calculate any wall that you labeled new. If it's an existing wall, it won't it won't tally it in, in that budget platform area. So that's that. Um, so we're going to get started here. I'm going to close this. Actually, what happens when you create a free account on here, you'll be taken to this well, where you'll want to you'll be prompted to create a new space. So um, that one we were just looking at here is a test project. I'm um, saying the rentable square foot is around 2760. I'm just going to build that again. So test two for the project name. I'm just going to do test two for the address and test just for all of this. Again, 2760 for the rentable. And uh, I'm just going to click save. I'm going to go there and close. Here we go. So this is our new project. First thing that we want to do is we want to bring in a PDF uh, floor plan to start with. You can either bring in a, a 3D model or a, a PDF pl floor plan to start with. You can do both. But for now, um, I'm going to click up here into this is import and go 2D floor plan. Uh, and when I click browse, I'm going to browse to a PDF of the floor plan I'm going to use. And then you're going to go ahead and click import. So it'll prompt you to scale because obviously uh, you need to figure out what the scale of this drawing is and match it up with their 3D elements. So really simple start point here. I know that these grid lines are 20 feet. So it's going to ask you for reference point one. Reference point two, pretty straightforward. And I know that this is 20. I'm going to click scale. So it's asking if I want to lock this. I'm going to show you. You can click yes there. If you, while you're working, you don't want this or you, you know, you don't want this to be selected. You can go up here under this um, and go floor plan. I'm going to click the lock button. So we have a locked floor plan. Um, and it's important to note, uh, you'll start out in this 3D environment here. And the way to pan and or to orbit around is right click. Pan is this push down on the scroll and then, you know, zoom in and out is scroll in and out. Pretty standard. Um, I actually like the right click. It's one of my favorites. So you've got your floor plan to start with and we can just straight up start drawing on here. Um, another thing that you can do is import a 3D model to, to be complementary to this, which I have um, in Revit. This is a 3D model of the existing conditions we're starting with. Yeah, you need to export this as a Collada file, and I've shown how to do that in other videos, but um, there's a free Lumion plugin you can install and you can export it that way. Um, and then you can access my Blender template to get a clean Collada file from that. Uh, or there are some add-ins here that, that'll give you access uh, temporarily for free. I've got one just to get it out quick, but um, I'll show you when we go to import. So, uh, make sure I do this right. I'm going to import 3D model. I'm going to browse to that Revit file that's exported here. And it's a pretty decent, uh, a decently detailed file. And uh, this web app seems to handle it pretty well. So I can grab this and just click, drag, move it. Um, it's important to note, it's useful to switch over to this 2D view if you click on 2D because it, it 
shows uh, the floor plan elements that happen to, to be sitting behind the geometry you can see right here versus if I go to the 3D, um, it might be more difficult or just disappears altogether. So, and then similarly, if I want to lock this, I'll go over to here and 3D models, I'll just lock that layer. Um, but I'm going to keep that unlocked for now because I don't like the way it looks. So that's how we start. We got our in our existing conditions um, modeled up there. So yeah, the first thing that uh, I want to do is actually add uh, flooring. But you know, in general, this is where we want to start to add um, elements from within this software. And the first one, I'm going to say this area of work that we're doing. Uh, we're going to change up the flooring here and do some sort of polished concrete or we're going to polish the concrete. Um, so I'll grab this. And I'll go out to maybe about here. There we go. And then under flooring type, I'm going to click concrete polished uh, and there's a concrete polished floor so that's um, that's going to give us our area of work area to focus on under here and if I if I go to budget you should start to see you've got uh, some some budget thrown in here already and that's uh, that's because we've got flooring polished concrete at eighteen dollars a square foot um, thrown in here. It's nice that it kind of automatically generates that for you. Uh, so, you know, the other things to uh, to note that are important here are drawing walls. I mean, it's super, super simple. Um, which is this guy right here. And you can draw it in 3D, you can draw it in 2D, however you want, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty straightforward process if I want to click around. And the cursor kind of automatically uh, snaps to 90 degrees. Um, and so if you notice in each one of these, if I click, if I go back to this cursor, if I click this, I can change it to an existing wall. It'll turn it gray and it won't, it won't quantify it in the budget portion of this. You can increase the height of the wall and the thickness of the wall, and you can make it glass or solid. And those are pretty much your options. So. Uh, if we've got this, we can also control copy and V for pasting if we wanted to split this into two. Now, this isn't meant to be a super robust modeling tool. It's meant to do some very basic early uh, stage stuff, right? So um, we don't want to spend a ton, a ton of time being crazy uh, accurate with every little detail zooming in. Uh, we just want a kind of quick estimate. So if I grab this door tool, it's going to automatically place um, a door within these walls. And the options with these doors are kind of similar. You got height, um, width, open in versus open out or swing in, swing out. You can even have it closed. Um, you can have a single uh, right, left. You can have it. You can give it a side light. You can do all of these. Um, all of these different things and you'll start to see them show up. So why don't I switch to my floor plan here, my 2D view and go down. And I will start to bring in some furniture. So workstations. So you've got workstations, you've got offices, you've got lounge, kitchen, all of these different types of models. Um, the workstations are, you know, a lot of times there, there's a lot of those. So, and I'm not, I'm not trying to design this whole thing here, but similar to how that intro video showed, you can just kind of click and uh, drag. This is really simple, really quick uh, way to do things. And once you've got this placed in there, again, you go to budget and you'll start to see uh, a budget put getting put together that tallies up. Um, that equipment. And you can change the unit price if you end up having a whole bunch of these and you know you, you found a different set of desks you can you can change that uh, pretty easily too. So that's 
uh, something that's pretty uh, pretty nice about this system. Now, one of the one of the best I think advantages of this is a that it's free, so that's really cool. Um, but the other is being able to share this. You can you can share this uh, by just using this as your presentation platform when you're you know, presenting to your client, um, and you can also actually share a link that is you know either a viewer or an editor editor light so and this first option here makes you uh forces you to have the person identify themselves so you know their presence and you can hit enter and suddenly i'll have access to the same uh document so uh in an ideal world right now this link, um, I think because of perhaps the size of this model here, some of these are being a little bit buggy. Uh, but for instance, if I want to share this editor link, if I have a design team or if I don't mind my client going in there and making their own changes to that, I can send them, uh, I think I know. So one thing you got to make sure that you do is you got to click this save button here. So that's something important. It doesn't automatically save your changes. You do have to make sure to save um, along the way. That's uh, important, but should be used to doing that already if you're in any other platform. So, and this is the first time I'm actually saving this in here. So, um, yeah, so now let's try this one more time with copy ULR. Make sure I've got this. Yeah, it's still being uh, a little buggy, but you get the idea. And the idea is also when you share this, I'm going to copy, I'm going to try the editor. One more time here. When you click budget, now your um, yeah your budget should show up here as the budget that your client will see. And uh, I think in this case, what I need to do is probably save and reload and and close this um, because. I think the share function um, works a little differently if you have this giant detailed uh, existing model in here. But yeah, so this is uh, this is the general way that the that it works. Um, again, you can get access to this by clicking the link. I'm going to put the link to this down in the description, um, and I have a couple other videos I'm going to put out on this subject for this product because i think that this um i think the approach that this company or that this product is taking is a unique one that uh is worth continuing to Im involve in your design process and make things really quick and again it's free so you can't really go go wrong with that um, so anyways if you like the video then please thumbs up and subscribe and uh, stick around because I will have more content on the way. So I'll see you in the next one.